세상의 모든 돈 되는 이야기 캐치 더 머니 이번에는 우리 님랜드의 CEO 레이 모시고 이야기 나눠보겠습니다. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So, could you briefly introduce yourself to the camera? Yeah, sure. Hi, I'm Ray. Uh, I'm the co-founder and CEO of Nike. And also, like two years ago, we started a Web3 company called Mimland. And then uh, we launched NFT. We also help launch and contribute to a token. Right? And then right now, we continue to build in Web3. So, what was the um, inspiration or background of founding the Mimland? Yeah, sure. Uh, as I mentioned, right, we started a platform for people to share funny pictures, like 16 years ago, mm-hmm. right? And at the time, people only call it like funny pictures and funny videos. But after after some time, people kind of like categorize them as like memes. And then we always think that okay, meme is great because it's it's very funny, right? People kind of use it as a way to share with friends and stuff like that. Right? And then about like two to three years ago, yeah, uh, we started to stumble upon like Web3 uh, because a lot of people, they say, that, okay, now get, you guys should launch a token, right? you should launch a meme coin. Right? But the thing, the, the way that we say this, okay, what exactly is it, is it about? Right? So about like two years ago, I right, started to buy more NFT, buy some crypto right, to understand how it works. Then we think that, okay, it seems like it makes sense for us right, to build in Web3 because Web3 is uh, about community all the time, right? and we have been building community for 16 years. That's why we started a company called Memeland, and then focusing on bridging kind of like Web 2, Web 3, that kind of stuff. But I think the more importantly, how can we, uh, I would say, uh, amplify the meme culture right? in the latest, like, with the latest technology. Yeah. So then what is the vision or the goal of Memeland? Yeah, sure. Uh, for Memeland, Right. What we really try to do is uh, how can we uh, bring ownership right, to, the, to the creators? Yeah, because uh, most of the people who share memes, they actually don't get anything. Mm-hmm. Right? Most of the people who are memes, they also don't get anything. Right? But how can we kind of like uh, connect them right, with their fans? Right? And also how can we uh, remove the middleman, for example, like some of the platforms? Right? I think those are the things that we try to do. Right? Because at the end of the day, uh, when we think about uh, token or NFT, uh, people always talk about creator economy, right? And how can we do this with blockchain, with NFT, with all the new tech, right? That's something that we try to do, yeah. So the the community of Mimland is growing really rapidly. So how do you see the, the growth of the Mimland community? I, I would say that um, it's basically not, not just Mimland, right? But more like Web3 adoption is growing, right? I think when we first started Mimland, I, I mean... Bitcoin was, was around this, this price, right? But Bitcoin was not seen as a very official, like, financial asset. Right now, Bitcoin has, like, an ETF, right? And people are talking about ETH, EDF, and also Solana ETF, right? So you can say that it's already kind of, like, getting mainstream, right? And, but at the same time, they're kind of boring, right? It's all, almost about, oh, how can we disrupt the financial industry? Oh, how can we replace, like, uh, gold, become the digital gold and stuff, right? I mean, it's important, right? But it's kind of boring. And, and for us, we always try to make things uh, more interesting, more fun. Right? That's, that's the direction that we really, really want to uh, uh, moving forward. Yeah, and for us, uh, we believe that uh, our advantage is, is we actually know how to build community. Right? We are a pretty experienced company. Right? And we also have like over like 200 million uh, audience across the world, right? across our Instagram, across our Facebook, across our uh, TikTok, across our Pinterest, right? and stuff like that. Yeah, so what we try to do is... Uh, Instead of onboarding people to Web3, what we try to do is, can we bring the Web3 technology to the people? Right? That's always uh, what, what we try to do after we started Meme. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay, then let's move on to the um, coin. So how did, the, how did the initial idea for Meme coin come about? Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a little bit confusing sometimes, right? Because uh, uh, our... Not our, right? The token that we contribute, we help launch, is called meme coin, M E M E Z O I N, right? The ticker, right, on the centralized yeah. exchange is actually meme, right? But at the same time, meme coins yeah. is also a big so category. Same, same name. Right? Right? So it's like very, very similar name, right? Yeah, the way that we try to do is this hey, Nigat is all about meme, right? And we love memes. We have been sharing memes for like 16 years, right? So the project that we launch is called Meme Land. Mm-hmm. Of course, the token that we, we, we help launch, we contribute, right, should be called meme, right, instead of called land, right? That's why we have the name. And then what we try to do is, uh, can we uh, mix the, the, uh, the viral power of meme 
but also mix with all this like creator economy, all this like uh, uh, blockchain tech together, right? That's what we try to do uh, with uh, with meme coin. Mm-hmm. But at the end of the day, I think for for a token, right, to be to be valuable, it, it depends a lot on uh, how people uh, make use of that. Right? For us, we are the main core contributor right, to the ecosystem. But there are also people trying to hey, uh, create some creative ideas right, of how to leverage meme coin stuff. Right? At the end of the day, it's a, it's a token for people to, to represent a share or a stake right, of their community, uh, of part of the community. And I think that part is, uh, is something that's powerful because in the past, no matter how much you do, uh, unless you, you, you actually are early investors uh, of a company, right, you can't really enjoy the growth. Mm. Right? right now with Web3, you are part of the owners. Uh, you actually can grow with them. You can help it grow. And at the same time, you also can, I would say, capitalize on it. Right? So that part is something that is very, very interesting. Yeah. Mm, okay. So then can you explain about the economic um, model or distribution of meme coin in detail? Yeah, for sure. Um, for our meme coin, basically, we, we, we launch it uh, with the community. Right? We try to make it a win right, for, for the community right? because uh, the, uh, the slogan of Mimla is actually the community company is, hey, we have been building in Web2 for such a long time. We have seen all the good, the bad, the ugly right, of Web2. Right? I'm not saying that they are all bad, right? but they have a lot of like, um, uh, room to be improved. Uh, so how can we actually embrace a tag to build something that the people can enjoy. I mean, they have fun, but also maybe if they are smart, right, then they can make some money, right, and also make more friends, right, at the same time, right. So that's how we, uh, that's the, the idea, yeah. And then uh, the whole goal is, oh, can we make it a very community driven, like a project, so that people can feel that they're part of it, so that they help grow it. Yeah, I mean, honestly, right, for, for tokens, right, just like any other tokens, including Bitcoin, ETH, right, it's, Basically, it's supply and demand. Right? Most of the time, the team can't really affect the price a lot, right? Because, but but for us, we always try to uh, uh, continue to build and bring value uh, to our holders, right? And also bring entertainment, bring fun. Because at the end of the day, yeah, uh, it's not just about money, right? but of course, money is a, a large part yeah. of it. But at the same time, how can you help creators? How can you uh, help uh, community? I think those are the things that we also care. Mm. So, um, beside the money, so what are the benefits? Of, uh, for the users of meme coin. I mean, the, <laughs> there's a saying, right? It's like, oh, uh, all, all the, all, I mean, you probably can't really, I forgot the exact quote, but the meaning is kind of like, most of the time, you can't really make money in Web3, but you make a lot of friends, right? Because you are in the same boat together, right? You are the, the victim of certain rug pool, you are the, 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 the winner, right? Of certain like allow less and NFT means, right? Mm-hmm. The way that we say this, um, uh, we create a vehicle here. Right. Where it goes, we actually don't really know, right? But we are on the same car and the same boat together, right? How can we go something further and, and try to explore it together? I think that's always our mentality. This at the end of the day, I think even like um, most of the project right now, uh, most of the big project right now, even when they started, they didn't expect that, oh, the, the, the community evolved, the product evolved, the, the usage evolves as well, right? And honestly, most of the so-called useful projects, right? They have roadmap visions, right? But they didn't do shit after some time, right? So, so to us, it's almost like, okay, we keep it open, right? We never have a roadmap. We just try to have fun and we try to make sure that, okay, hey, if you are uh, believe in us, right? Believe in the community, right? Then let's build together. Yeah, it's almost like we keep it, we, we kind of like keep it open. Yeah, uh, just, like, just like a young, young, young person, right? I mean, when you were young, of course you have some direction, right? But you should not fixate it on, on uh, one thing because honestly, when you first started, uh, you actually don't know that much, right? About the world, about what you can do, right? But what we try to do is, uh, oh, can we always keep moving forward? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that's the direction. Mm, okay. So then could you explain like how people can use meme coin within the meme land platform? Yeah, sure. I mean, we we have a we have a product called Stickline, 
No, it's, it's basically you stick your meme coin. I mean, stick is a very sensitive word, but more like you lock up your meme coin here, right? Where you can uh, and also help join uh, a marketing campaign where we help bring some partners, uh, some new token projects onto our platform. Yeah, so when you uh, finish the, the quest and then answer the questions or help promote uh, other projects, right? Then you have a chance, right, to get some of the new tokens, right, for of other projects. That's way uh, we we try to bring the opportunities, right? Not just oh, in the past it's almost okay. You have to be an angel investor. You have to be a, a, a venture capitalist mm-hmm. in order to invest in the early stage of a project, right? Right now we try to bring that uh, open that assets to our community. Right, that's one of the things that we launch, and then of course. Uh, uh, this, at the same time, we also do collaboration with our love, with our love brands. Uh, for example, uh, Black Parrots, uh, which is a freshman brand. We do a collab with them. You can use MemeCon to buy uh, for Whiskey Genius. Uh, we actually uh, uh, work with them to curate like sixty nine bottle of like good whiskey, right? Where you can o- actually also use MemeCon to to swap uh, to exchange for that as well. And I think there are also different ways of like uh, making use of it, right? But to us, uh, we try to be uh, mindful that okay. Uh, uh, most of the people, right, when they buy a token, they, they look for a few things, right? Some people, they look for the growth. Some people look for the utility, right? So for us, we try to keep it open to make sure that, okay, we do what our holders want, yeah? But at the same time, it's also open to interpretation as well, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you mentioned about the collaboration with many projects. So do you have any major projects currently underway, underway at Mimland in what are your future plans? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, we always have a lot of things like cooking and working on. Right? And most of the time, uh, we follow some ideas, right? And then we'll see how the community respond to it. Right? That's, by the way, this is the good thing about Web3. Right? Because in Web2, it's almost like, okay, we do, we do it. And then we look at only the data, mm-hmm. right? And then, and then we, we, we improve the product, right? In Web3, you, you have an idea, right? You actually can follow it out, discuss with your community. And then you build it, and then of course you still look at the data, you still look at the response. And the thing is, compared to Web2, uh, uh, most of the Web3 community, they are actually your stakeholder, right? Maybe they hold your token, maybe they hold your NFT, maybe they spend time with your community, right? So their opinion uh, is actually uh, more valuable, I would say. Yeah, so for us, um, other than uh, the Sigland project that we've been running, right? We're also working with uh, uh, Andy, right? The Hide the Pink Harrow. Right, as, as people call him on the internet, right, to see whether we can work something with him on, on Web3. Right, because uh, one angle that we see is, okay, there's so many meme coins mm-hmm. right, out there, right, like Dodge, like Pepe, like a lot of coins. Most of those coins, they use a copywriter images right, or they use a meme. Mm-hmm. Right? But the meme creator, they actually don't get anything. Right? Can we create uh, a project right, with, actually with the meme creator to bring some value to him, but also do some good, right, to, to do well to the company as well, right? So it's always the same thing is, okay, this is an experiment, okay? We don't guarantee this is a success, right? But at least we think, okay, this is interesting, right? Because most of the Web3 teams, they actually don't have access to any like Web2 characters, Web2 business, right? For us, we have been running business for, for like 16 years, right? So we try to bring more Web2 people, Web2, I wouldn't say celebrity, but more like Web2, um, uh, I would say characters that people like, right? Then maybe we can create something meaningful with them. Yeah, I think this is one of the directions that we are working on. And of course, uh, there are so many things that uh, we try to uh, bring fun and value right to our community. So we we are uh, looking into whether we can um, unlock some so-called Web two liquidity, right? So work with some Web two companies uh, to bring them into Web three. But at the same time, uh, more importantly, to guide them to do it in a way that hey, don't think about Web three as a business unit. Don't think about Web3 just as a revenue. Right? Think about it as a way to strengthen your, your company. Right? To, that's the, the motto that, that, we, that uh, any Web3 company is, uh, should have is, hey, give before you get. Right? Because, I mean, if you just want to make money, right, then why would people buy your product right, in Web3? I just buy a product in Web2. Right? In Web3, the whole goal is, hey, can we grow together? Right? You have to leave something on the table so that people can grow with you. Yeah, I think that's uh, the thing, the message that we want to uh, share with all these like Web two companies trying to go into Web three, and, uh, and 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 by doing that, hopefully we can uh, uh, make more people um, understand what Web three is. Yeah. Okay. So, is there any memorable moment, or the what are the most memorable moments for you while you're running the Mimland? Yeah, for sure. I think 
<laughs> I mean, there's a saying, right? It should happen, right? I think in Web3, shit happens every day, right? If not every minute, right? So, so, so I think there are a lot of like goods and bads, right? In Web3, and and for me, uh, there are a few like very interesting memories, right? Of course, uh, most of them is related to uh, to how we launch a project, right? Yeah, one thing generally that I really like Web3 is. The feedback loop is actually very, very fast, right? In in, in Web two or in any offline business, right? You you, you start a shop, you start a, a Web two product, right? You actually it takes a long time mm-hmm. for you to get feedback from the community. In Web three, basically the moment that you launch, or me basically before the moment that you launch, right? People already shitting on your project, right? So so or, or, or praising your project, right? So so I think those are the things that makes me feel like um uh, oh this is very interesting. It's almost like you're raising a kid. Right and 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 but uh, that kid doesn't grow up, but 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 it kind of like always crying right for when 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 what's next what's next right when when do you launch the next big thing right I think generally this is my my vibe right uh, my my feeling in, in, in Web three but I think um uh, one of my most memorable moment in Web three is uh, actually when uh, we help launch a uh, meme coin right and then uh, we get listed. On, on the top exchanges, right? And the timing is almost like perfect, mm-hmm. right? And then at that week, uh, is that we actually in, in invited uh, Haro to, to Hong Kong, right? To help us to join a party that we throw. Yeah, but before we invited him, we actually didn't know that hey, MemeCon would be launched that day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because we still need to work with like, uh, some, some exchange for, for the timing, right? But basically, the timing was perfect. And Haro was having fun. We, we, we invited some, some DJs and also uh, uh, have a rooftop party and stuff like that. Imagine seeing a, a guy who was like 80 years old dancing with a DJ who was like a Japanese like uh-huh. act out actress and stuff like that, right? I mean, it's wild, right? And it can only happen in Web3. Yeah, and all people have fun. They actually find them like all parts of the world to join a small party in Hong Kong. I mean, small as in like we have like 500 to, to 800 people, right? And and those are the things that we cannot we cannot imagine when we have been building Nigel right for 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 a long mm-hmm. time, yeah. So that was a good moment, right? But at the end of the day, uh, what I really like Web three the most is there are so many opportunities, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, and the competition is actually pretty weak, mm-hmm. yeah. As in, I mean, most of the teams they they can't even launch a decent website, mm-hmm. right? They can't even launch a, a decent like mint and stuff, right? And and most of them they don't really keep the promises, right? I mean, we, we also kind of like uh, fail from time to time, right? But one goal that we always have is hey, how can we put our community first? And those are things that hey, we want to do it in Nigat, right? But the business model doesn't really allow us to do so, right? But in Web three, it's very easy, right? We only have one one boss, which is our, our community, right? And um and those are the things that I really like, yeah. And also, kind of like feel that. Hey, this is a new interesting thing every day. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So for the last question, so how do you think the meme culture impact impact um, the digital economy? Yeah, I mean, I I would say that uh, uh, there was there there were always memes or funny stuff, right? Yeah, uh, in existence, right? Internet accelerate the speed, right? I before. Before we start Nigat, uh, when we, when I was just just a kid, right, browsing internet and stuff, there are like chain emails, right? Uh, oh, you have to forward this email, otherwise, uh, uh, ten thousand cats will die or something like that, right? Those like stupid emails back in the days, right? And then there are like uh, a motivational poster, the one with like a black background, all right? And then I've uh, stock imaging, and then uh, a very motivational quote and stuff, right? And then later there will be like memes, like a haro, right? Like a like a overly attached girlfriend, success kid, and all this kind of stuff. And then later there are all kind of like viral videos and stuff, right? I would say that meme is is probably the most important part uh, of digital or internet culture, right? Because Honestly, uh, other than the real hard problem that internet is solving, right? People want to have fun, right? And people want to get connected with each other. I think meme is a medium that people can easily do so, right? For example, oh, you're a Korean. I'm I'm I'm, I'm Hong Kong guy. I'm Chinese, right? Even though we may not speak the same language, right? But look at the same meme. Mm-hmm. We understand hey, the meaning behind it, right? Maybe there are some memes that you only know in Korea. I only know that in Hong Kong, but by Understanding the background, the story, right? You actually feel like okay, we get connected in deeper sense, mm-hmm. and that's that's almost like a kind of language to me, right? And right now with Web three, uh, there are like meme coins, and and basically we add a dollar sign 
to to the to the culture. Right? I think there are, there are good and uh, good and bad about that. But at the end of the day, uh, it's it's like we didn't choose the meme life, right? The meme life chose us, right? A lot of people they try to become meme, but they never succeed, right? But some random guy, right, like 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 Haro, right, uh, uh, the electrical engineer in Hungary, like 60, 70 years old, and he become a meme, right? So I, I feel like it's. It's, it's very interesting and important part of, of uh, digital uh, culture. Yeah, and, and it continues to evolve, right? It's almost like it's a living organism. Yeah, so for us, we try to be part of the contributor to the meme culture on one hand and try to, I would say, um, uh, help all these like, creators along the way to, to get some value for them and also help people right, who enjoy the meme, enjoy the fun, to group them together so that they can meet other friends who really love this. It's almost like in, uh, we're in Japan right now, right? So it's almost like that kind of like uh, uh, geek culture, that kind of like uh, otaku culture. Yeah. Right? It's kind of like that for me. Yeah, and uh, right now, uh, I would say that it becomes a global phenomenon. Yeah. Okay. okay, so do you have any message or... And you do want to say anything to our viewers, lastly? I don't have any message. Okay. I mean, most of the time people ask me for advice, right? For, yeah. oh, what's your advice to, to the newer generation? Number one, I'm not that old. I mean, old, but not that old. Yeah, but number two is I think most advice are not very meaningful, mm. right? Because we are all different, right? Mm. But I think uh, for Web3, I would say that uh, there are so many opportunities. I right? try to embrace it by not just reading articles. I mean, you are a media company, right? But watching videos and reading articles can't really get you learn a lot of things, right? I think you have to watch a, a good channel like, like yours, right? But at the same time, you also have to uh, try it, right? And until you, 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 you buy a token, right? you can't really know how a token mm -hmm. works, right? So I think uh, we serve some a small amount of money, only, oh, only invest money uh, that you can afford to lose in Web3. Yeah, then you can start to enjoy the fun, enjoy the community, enjoy the friendship, and hopefully enjoy the profit right, in Web3. Yeah. So uh, if, if I really have to say one thing, is um, only invest money you can afford to lose in Web3 so that your life uh, is not affected, uh, even though the market is down bad, like right now when we are doing this interview. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Thank you for today's thank interview. You. So yeah, it's all. That's it's the end of the interview. So thank, thank you. Thank you so much. So 네 지금까지 민님들 CEO 레이 만나봤습니다. 다음번에 만나요. 안녕.